absolutely elated. He retains the gas tank let him down. WBO European heavyweight title. David Price. At the expense of David Price. David Price has been stopped in the seventh round. Um, this was a fight where he came in at his highest weight. Now, we know, I've been covering and watching David Price for the last good four years now or so. We know what happened to him in in the in the um, Tony Thompson fight, where he gassed out. There's some dude like Eric Bischoff in there, where he gassed out. So I'm wondering, okay, all right, this fight against Christian Hammer, by the way, if you don't know him, remember he fought uh, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury got rid of him in eight rounds. Um, he also fought uh, Erkan Teeper. And remember, Erkan Teeper was the one who knocked um, David Price under the turnbuckle, but he ended up failing the drug test. So this fight was supposed to be for the potential future number one contender for the winner of Huey Fury versus um, Joseph Parker, which is supposed to be happening in New Zealand on April the 1st. So now it's like, where does David Price go to from here? He's done. You know, that conditioning. I mean, do you give him one more run? Do you say, okay, well, listen, you know, drop 10, 15, 20 pounds, and we're going to go at it again? Because this is the second time his conditioning let him down, and he was fighting a good fight. And his chin was getting tested. You know, but you heard his trainer um, tell him in the corner, who was that, David Caldwell, tell him in the corner, you know, like, listen, fight, you know, um, fight tall. You're fucking six foot nine. You know, use your height and use your reach. And David Price, you can see he wasn't doing that, but also. He was saying that Hamer was going to gas out, you know, before he does, and he didn't. Shit was crazy. So now I'm wondering if he's going to do like a post-fight interview. Because I'm looking at it right now, and um, he was just on the ropes. It's not doing enough. He wasn't grabbing and holding. And you know something about David Price fights that when he's tired, he will literally lead all on the ropes. Like, <laughs> All like literally like all over the ropes. It's kind of sad, but you know that's that's what that's what happens. You know, that's what happens in this sport. By the way, on T Street Controversy, this is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Now it's like honestly, where does David Price go from here? You know, mm -mm -mm. he can't beat. He can't. He can't. Beat a Derek Chisora, in my opinion. He can't beat a Dylan White, you know. And, I'm, and we're talking about like the those up and coming heavyweights or those 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 B level, you know, um, contender heavyweights over there in the UK. He can't beat those guys. I'm not even confident he can beat be Lucas Brown, you know, or Arthur Spilka, or Mike Perez. I am not confident in David Price. I may sound a little harsh and a little critical, but yo, his conditioning, look, he is tired as fuck. He is sitting in that corner. I wonder if they're going to give him a post-fight interview. And truth be told, this has been billed as the most intriguing fight among hardcore boxing fans of the night. On the undercard of uh, this, uh, let me turn this up. Could you please show your appreciation for both boxers? The contest came to an end after one minute to 22 seconds of round number seven. Referee Phil Edwards deeming David Price in no position to continue. Therefore, your winner and still WBO European heavyweight champion, Christian Hammer! So Christian Hammer successfully retains his WBO European heavyweight title, courtesy of a seventh round stoppage coming at the 1 minute 22 mark over Great Britain's David Price, who is consigned to his fourth professional loss, all of them coming inside the distance. What does the fistic future hold for Price now? I wonder if they're going to do a post-fight interview. By the way, please subscribe. I'm going to be back full-time in exactly uh, three weeks' time. David Price, who thankfully is walking away back to his dressing room nope. in the corner here. Lennox no post-fight interview. As I said, you know, um, now it's like, you know, where does David Price go from here? You know, like, really, like, what do you... I don't know what he can do. There's nothing he can do. You know, public opinion on him is shattered. And remember, it was even talk about him fighting 
um, Anthony Joshua. <laughs> you know? You know, public opinion on him is shattered. You know, and if he was to come back, he would have to do, you know, for one, in order to get some public opinion, you know, um, back, he would have to, you know, come back and post photos and everything of him in, like, phenomenal shape. You know? Because, Matt, you know, that conditioning. You know, it, it's known now that if you take him past round five, there's a good chance he's going to gas out. And he doesn't fight tall like he should. Anyway, I'm T Street Controversy. Shout out to Christian Hamer, you know, for the win. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Please subscribe. All the links to my social media right down below in the description box. I know people have been pissed off that I've been doing these, you know, hour long videos, but guess what? It's all coming to an end. You know, we're getting back into the swing of things at the end of this month. We're back. You know, after the two year journey, we're back. I'm talking about the two years since I haven't been doing videos consistently, but we're here now. Please subscribe.